Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Swoo here. Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Now today's video will be showing you guys how you can use Roblox Account Manager safely after the whole tort situation. So yeah, before we get to this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as I would really appreciate it. And it does help with the channel a lot. But yeah, let's not waste no more time to get directly into how you can end up getting Roblox Account Manager. Let's go. Alright guys, so basically what you're going to end up wanting to do is click the link in the description which is going to take you to this exact web page right here. Or y'all can end up typing in Roblox Account Manager. So I want to go over here to the releases and as y'all can see, the most recent one is the one with the torrent. So you're not going to really worry about this eye. So go over here, click on this button right here and this is going to take you to all of the releases. Now do not download this one. Scroll down just a little bit until you see like, um, for an example, like 3.52 or... Uh, this one right here, okay, this one has a lot of hearts, um, a lot of likes, you know what I'm saying? So basically what you're going to end up wanting to do is go over to one where you see like a whole bunch of positive feedback and you're going to end up downloading that one right here. So you're going to click on this one, Roblox Account Manager 3.5, and we're going to end up going over here until we see Roblox Account Manager zip. Now you're going to end up wanting to download it, so I'm going to go ahead and download it. Now I have already ended up installing it, so I'm not really going to install it again, but I promise this is safe. And basically what you're going to end up wanting to do is install it. And once you do end up installing that Roblox account manager, you're going to end up extracting it into a file. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here to uh, my Roblox account manager file right here. As y'all can see, I had this one made in 7-26-2024. So that was like three days ago when I made this one. So basically what you're going to end up wanting to do is click on it and load up Roblox account manager. So yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and close up the one I have open right now. And I'm going to go ahead and launch this one right here. Now it's going to end up asking you to like insert a password or something. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my password right quick. Or like when you first launch the Roblox account manager, it's going to ask you to create a password for yourself. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and enter my password there right quick. Alright guys, now once you do end up logging in, and uh, basically you're going to end up going down here to add account and you're going to end up adding a couple accounts, which is going to be your alt accounts for whatever you want to end up using them for. For me, for an example, I'm going to go ahead and use mine for anime defenders, but what you're going to want to do is end up adding all your alt accounts. Now once you do end up doing that and make sure you add your main as well, you're going to end up going over here to this little gear icon. You're going to go right here and enable multi Roblox. Make sure you end up enabling this to, so this whole thing can work. A lot of people make a mistake on that where they don't end up doing that. Now we're going to end up um, pulling up our, our browser right here and pretty much what you're going to want to do is you're going to be on your main account right here all right you're going to end up going over here to anime defenders and you're going to end up logging in with your main account so i'm going to go ahead right now and i'm going to just go ahead and load into a game with your main account so yeah all right guys now once that i'm here basically what you're going to end up wanting to do is you're not going to use roblox account manager because if you do end up following yourself with a roblox account manager basically what it's going to end up doing is giving you this invalid authentication ticket well basically you just going to want to have this open we're going to minimize this you're going to end up going over to Google. Whoopsies, didn't mean to show my channel right there. Uh, and you're going to end up logging in basically with all of these accounts right here. So go over to Switch account and log in with all of your alt accounts. Now, once you are logged in with your alt accounts, basically what you're going to want to do is you could end up logging into the game, going over to Anime Defenders or whatever game you're playing, and launching multiple accounts. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to minimize this as well. Um, I don't think you need Blockstrap either. Uh, that's just a third-party software I'm using right now. But yeah, basically, what you're going to end up wanting to do is do that, and you'll be able to log in with as many accounts as y'all possibly can. So as y'all can see, I have both of my accounts logged in at once, and yeah, you can basically use this for whatever, and um, it's the best method. You can also do portals and stuff. It ain't going to give you that little error that it get when you use the other uh, multi-Roblox thingamajinga. But yeah, I could go ahead and switch over to this account and end up logging in, and that's basically how you end up using um, Roblox Account Manager. It's very easy and very simple. Just download an older version. Enable multi Roblox, add all y'all accounts, make sure to log into a uh, uh, Roblox account manager as well. And yeah, y'all can end up launching three, four accounts at once. I'm gonna just launch three just for video purposes. But yeah, it's your boy Swoofle here, and I'm out. Have a great day, y'all.